this video is the uh, first one of three on the sketch method. Uh, it's on identifying the dominant term and hence the basic shape of uh, the function that we're looking at. So um, we're learning to overall sketch linear quadratic cubic and quartic functions using the sketch method. That's what we're going to do. Um, success criteria here. You should be able to identify the dominant term, which is the highest power, uh, identify whether that term is positive or negative. Use that information to decide whether you've got a positive or negative linear quadratic cubic or quartic. And you should be able to explain how to remember which shape is positive and which is negative. So we're interested in these functions, linear, quadratic, cubic, and quartic. I'll give you an example of each one and the kind of shapes that they have. Um, so linear means that the highest uh, x term in it is x to the power of 1, which is usually just written as x. Quadratic means that the highest power is 2. Cubic means that the highest power is 3. And quartic means the highest power is 4. So it may look something like... Um, uh, minus 2x plus 1 or y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2 that sort of thing for a cubic you might have something like that and for a quartic it may be something like that now um, the basic shapes for these are that linears uh, have straight lines which either look like that or like that Quadratics either look like this or like that. You should be probably familiar with those. Cubics, which you may not be, uh, have a basic shape like that or like that. And quartics are a bit like quadratics but with a little bump in the middle. Um, so that or like that. And uh, what we're going to be doing now is looking at how we decide um, what type of sh basic shape they are. So. Uh, the first thing we ask ourselves is what is the highest degree or power? So if we look at here, um, there's kind of like an invisible x to the 1 there. Um, the highest power is x to the 1, which means it's a straight line. So it's either like that or it's like that. Now, um, as the values of x increase this way, as we go from left to right, uh, this one continues to rise, which means it is a positive linear expression. Uh, as this one goes from left to right as the x values uh, continue to rise it goes down it comes down over here meaning it's negative so when we look at this uh, we find our dominant term is negative 3x it's negative therefore the basic shape is that okay the next one we're going to look at uh, where we find the uh, the term with the highest degree is this one here it's got an x squared so that means it's either going to look like that or like that, that shape's called a parabola. Now, is it positive or negative? Well, we can see it is negative. And the way to tell the difference again, as we go from left to right, this one ultimately rises. It keeps going up and up and up and up and up as we go from left to right. So this one is positive. And this one, as we go from left to right, ultimately keeps coming down. And therefore, that is negative. Sometimes people remember this from thinking uh, positive is a smiley face and a negative is a frowny face, which is a nice way of remembering those two. All right. Oh, so that means ultimately um, this is the shape that we have, a negative quadratic. That's the basic shape. Now this one here is uh, going to be x to the power of 3, uh, which means that it's cubic. That means the basic shape is like that or it's like that. Uh, again, as we go left to right for this one, we can see that it rises, it goes up, making it positive. As we go left to right here, this one is coming down, which makes it negative. Now we can see that negative 3x cubed is negative, so it's going to be a negative cubic. So the basic shape is that, coming down. The last one we're going to look at, this is 3x to the 4 minus 2x plus 1. Um, our dominant term here has the highest power of 4. Uh, and it's dominant, remember, uh, not because it comes first in the list. Um, it's dominant because this is the one that has the highest number, uh, the highest power. So this is either going to look like that or like that. Again, remember, as we go from left to right, this ends up going up, which means it's positive. And as we go from left to right, this ultimately ends up going down, which means it's negative. So uh, 3x to the 4 is a quartic. Uh, it's positive, which means its basic shape is going to be like that. OK, have a look at these. Um, just pause the video and have a go and see if you can work out what the basic shape is for each of these. And we'll check back in a second. 
Okay, so dominant term here, uh, its highest power is squared, so this is going to be a negative quadratic, should be that shape. Dominant term here is 2x, making it a positive linear. Dominant term here, uh, 3x squared, means it's a positive quadratic. Dominant term here, negative x to the 4, making it a negative quartic. Uh, here we have a positive x cubed, making it this shape. Uh, this one interesting. Um, this, if you multiply this out, you're going to get x squared minus 2x. So it will be x squared and positive x squared, making it a positive quadratic. And this one here, if we multiply this out, we're going to get at the front of it uh, negative 2x times x times x, making it a negative cubic, because there'll be negative 2x cubed. So it'll be that shape there. Okay, so a quick recap. The highest powered term is the dominant term. That determines the basic shape. So x to the 1, for example, y equals 3x minus 2, is linear. That would be like that, and positive. Uh, x to the 2, for example, 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 is quadratic, and it's positive, so it would be that way around. Uh, x cubed, uh, here this would be a cubic, and again it's positive there, meaning it would rise, so it would keep going like that. And this here, we've got x to the 4, it's a negative quartic, so it would be like that, a quartic, but ultimately coming down. There we go.